Hey y'all, today we have a Shimano TLD25 that has a weak dry clicker. So today we'll show you how to figure that out, uh, to figure out uh, if it's the dry clicker or the click tongue itself, or if it's the click gear on this side. Uh, to do that, we have to access the reel through this side, so we need to remove the right side plate. So we're going to start by removing this uh, knob and lever, simply unscrew. Put that in free spool, then unscrew it. Now we can pop that forward to get off the uh, free spool detent. Raise it up a little bit and we're going to pop that little piece out there. That's essentially the cam for the reel. And now we can undo these three screws for the quadrant. One, two, three. Next, we'll remove these screws on the outside. Uh, I think there's seven of them. And this reel, I'm sorry, this video is not going to be a full breakdown video. If you want to see one of those, uh, I have one up in my video library on a Shimano TLD25. Check my library or see the link below in the uh, description. I'll have one there as well. And up it comes like that. All you have to do now is pull out the spool and check out what's going on with the clicker itself. And the first thing we'll check is the click gear to make sure that's fine. No movement on there and the teeth look good. So next we'll look at the click tongue itself and that looks like it has a decent amount of wear on there. That edge is pretty much sheared off very little contact with the click gear. So now we need to replace that click tongue. So to remove that click button, we're gonna pop off that E-clip that's there by sticking a small screwdriver in between the gap and just kind of twisting like so to get that out. I don't want to have your finger over this area so it doesn't uh, go flying anywhere on you. And now we can drop that assembly out. Under there will be a washer. I'll show you the stack when I pull this out. Drop that down. And now we can pull this top washer that goes above the click tongue. Pull the click tongue out. There's usually a washer under here. And there's also one washer on the bottom of it. You also find a washer here sometimes, I don't want to say always, under the, uh, the click button itself, and this one has two. Doesn't really matter which how they set up, meaning the, uh, the brass goes above the, the plastic one. Uh, not really, but we want to put the plastic one onto this uh, graphite shaft, or excuse me, graphite plate, so it doesn't cause any damage to it. Now if you do a comparison of the two, uh, the one on the right is the old click tongue, the one on the left is the new one, you can see there's just a tiny amount off the tip and even that slight amount will decrease uh, the loudness of that clicker. So let's go ahead and show you how to put this new one in. One note, if you, uh, when you open your reel up, your, your TLD up, and you see those little fine metal or silvery kind of uh, particles on the bottom here. What you see there is coming from the, the actual click tongue losing um, a little bit of itself every time the clicker is functioning. Okay, so let's start with the knob. We're going to take our two washers that we had here. I'm going to put the metal one on the bottom and the plastic one on the top or just above it and stick that back through 
like so. I'm gonna have it anywhere in there. Um, typically what I like to do is have it uh, all the way down to the bottom like that so that I can pinch or pry this open slightly to put that click tongue on it. Next we're gonna take our click, uh, sorry, one of our washers here and drop that onto the post that's right there. And I'm gonna add a little bit of grease to my clicker or my tongue before I put that on like so. Then we're just gonna drop that in place. Now obviously this is a kind of a tight spot so gotta use some aids in doing this. And now I'm over it. I'm just gonna pry that open slightly and push down at the same time. Like that. I'm going to go back to my button and push up on it so it's all the way up and put the final piece or the final washer on there just above the, uh, the click tongue itself. Now to put the uh, e-ring or e-clip back on going to take it and just rest it. I'm going to take it like this and just rest it on top just like so. It's just above the final washer but resting the entire body of it is resting uh, or has some support underneath it. Make sure that post is all the way up and the click tongue is all the way down so you have the groove to set that e-clip in set it like that I'm simply gonna hold up on this essentially with my my hand and just push like so with the screwdriver to pop that on like that and that's pretty much it now we have a hopefully a functioning uh, clicker. We're gonna put this reel together and test it out to make sure. So I'll see you when it's all put together and try it out live. Okay, so the reel's been serviced and put back together. And now let's test out that click ball on there to make sure it's, sorry, the clicker, make sure it's working. Put it in engage. Now we have a very nice loud clicker. Uh, guys, don't forget to hit that uh, subscribe uh, to the channel button if you appreciate the content by all means please hit a thumbs up if you felt like this video was useful for you and be sure to tell your friends about the channel again if you want to see a full breakdown a complete breakdown of uh, Shimano TLD 25 please check out my uh, my video library or see the link below and I will see you all next time